welcome to April Career and Money Readings. I know that this might be a little bit hard or strange times for you with coronavirus, but I'm going to do the best I can. So that being said, this is for the majority of your rising sign, okay? Your personal situation is going to be best assessed with a private reading just because everybody's in a different location and has a different you know sector that they work in or whatever but um, that's how we're gonna do this so this is for your rising sign you can go ahead and watch it for your Sun sign but this video right here is going to explain to you why you would want to watch career or money readings for your rising sign specifically they're going to be much more accurate for you so let's just get started I forgot to mention that um, love readings are going to look like this and if you're not subscribed that you would want to hit the notification bell and do that so that you're alerted when they come out. Cancer rising signs. What do career and money look like for you generally this month? Cancer career, cancer money. So as far as career goes, it's important that you stay confident and you really focus on what it is that really brings you joy about your career. So even if you're not working, focusing on the love that you have for it so that when you come back to it, you have um, a really strong focus on why you're there and fully appreciating it, which makes you better at it, which gets you potentially more money, right, down the road. Now, the money situation, you might not be feeling super comfortable, especially those of you who aren't working right now, but there's really nothing you can do. Bitching and complaining about it isn't gonna change anything for you. They're like, everything is gonna end up to be okay for you, and this, whatever's going on for you is not necessarily like a deterrent to your success. You're still viewed as successful at what you do. It's just like you're not feeling super awesome about career this month. But they're like, um, don't be making plans to like shift or change anything. They're like, hold on to whatever you've built already because even if you're one of those people that have been furloughed, like you're gonna come back after the whole um, pandemic thing kind of resolves to something that you've already built and you'll be even better. Um, so, I mean, even if that's not you and you're still working, but you're just not feeling very uh, great, it's like after all of these things kind of shift and change, um, you will be appreciated and recognized for your hard work. So what is there to look forward to in the month of April? And they're like kind of not doing so much. Um, <laughs> so I guess the majority of cancers might kind of be furloughed right now. They're like, it's untraditional, it's not normal, it's, and therefore it's not comfortable. So um, what they're saying is like intuitively, you just might not be um, feeling like there's much that you can take from other people, but other people do wanna be offering you love, support, help, even just a listening ear, and so you should be taking advantage of that, and that is something to look forward to. So what's going to be your biggest annoyance? And they're like um, talking to other people, <laughs> and then the fact that you can't go and do what it is that you wanna do. And some of that might just, you know, maybe you are working, but you're not able to go and spend your money the way you want to because of different restrictions based on where you live. So what do you need to look more closely at? And they're like, the fact that you don't have a choice, but that you're going to be okay. Like if you really crunch the numbers, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be stable, things are gonna balance out, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to find a way to make sure that this doesn't like totally collapse you. So um, is there any general guidance for you as far as career goes and as far as money goes? So as far as career goes, those of you who are like, okay, you know, maybe I don't really love what I do, then maybe it is time to start thinking about moving on to something else, right? Like you don't have a choice if you wanna feel confident. But for those of you who are in a position that you love, you just can't do it right now or you can't do it the same right now, well then remember to hold on to what you've already built because you're gonna come back and it's gonna be great. Now, um, as far as money goes, they're like, it's not gonna be as disappointing as, as you think. There are things that are happening that you just can't see right now. And some of those things, um, and maybe they're like behind the scenes. Some of them you just don't wanna see or think about. But you're going to get back up and work hard and everything's just gonna like kind of come into balance. Like every, um, problem is solvable. Every challenge is, you know, figure outable. And so that's kind of your April. I love you so much and I'll see you in May.